I'm only doing interviews and testing, so uh, you know things I can do, um, just uh, in the interviews, just you know talk, be honest, trustworthy. Um, things that you know, I have no problem doing at all. Um, testing, just making sure that um, you know I'm showing them my vert, my, my strength, and, um, and just giving them the kind of run out because you know a lot of not a lot of guys think I'm athletic, and um, I mean just I'm not a highlight dunk guy. You know that's not who I am. Um, you know I do a lot of things well. Um, and I, you know, it's just not who I am. So that's basically what I'm doing. I know you've got this question a lot. Who do you compare yourself <coughs> to the NBA now? Yes, man. I don't. I, don't, I have no clue. You know, that's been a question I've been asked. But you know, one thing I do, I, I, I take a lot of note on a lot of guys. You know, I see what Chris Paul does, how he distributes the ball, uh, how he gets everyone involved. Tony Parker, how he takes control of the game. Um, Steve Nash in his prime when he was he had two MVPs back to back. His footwork. Um, a lot of things that uh, I, I, I try to implement in my game. You know, I, I don't want to just look at one person and grasp a hold of that. You know, I feel as though those guys are, are successful at what they do. So I want to be successful as well. And um, I'm going to do whatever it takes. You know, I'm going to watch a lot of film on them so I can try to do the things they do and try to be successful at it. I haven't got any weird questions yet. You know, I, I've, been, I've been waiting because I've, I heard there's a lot of weird questions out there that's going to be asked. But I haven't got any weird questions yet, um, and I'm excited to continue this process. Have you met with the Bucks at all, and, and do you plan to? No, I haven't, haven't yet, but I definitely plan to. Is the, uh, is the AAU environment for us a little underrated? I mean, just how um, is Yeah, I mean, some great, it's some great players. You know, BBC has some great players. Um, Metro Boston has some great players. Expressions has some great play players. Um, you know, I, they, it's, a, it's definitely underrated. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a ton of talent elsewhere as well. But um, I came from Boston, so I'm kind of biased on that. <laughs> Have you, uh, you crossed paths with Phil Presley at all? Yeah, I played with Phil Presley when he played uh, in Houston Hoops. Okay, all right. And you talked to him at all? I mean, he, you know, he, yeah, made, yeah, no, no. he made the roster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, me and Phil Presley, yeah, we, we uh, when he was younger, we was much, we was definitely cool. You know, me and him was, um, we was one of, like, best buds. and. Um, because he played for BABC and we had a lot of AU tournaments that I would see him at. And I knew some players uh, that he played with, Daryl Bishop and them guys um, uh, who, who I kind of grew up with. So um, when we, just, we were just kicking at AU tournaments and stuff like that. So yeah, he's definitely a great kid. Is he an example of what's possible in this league? What do you mean? Well, he got the right opportunity, obviously. Yeah, so you know, I mean, it's always that type of person. God is going to get the right opportunity to, to play uh, for a team. You know, he's a great talent. Um, you know, a lot, not a lot of folks see that, um, but he understood that and he didn't let that deter him. You know, he, he thought positive and um, it led him to the Celtics, which he's doing great on. Is it an advantage being a big name, big spotlight kind of guy coming out of college to the NBA? Or some of these guys aren't really that well known. How does it compare to your situation? Yeah, I mean, it definitely is an advantage uh, because, you know, with everything um, being publicized, it's, you know, it's always good to be the guy that um, people know about. Um, but there's some, definitely some hardworking talent in this room. Um, you know, there's definitely some guys that work um, the tail off in the, in the season. Um, but, you know, I, I think that the biggest thing is um, getting your name known. Um, and, um, you know, like I said, there's some great talent. In there. You're only doing interviews and, and some testing and, and those things, but how do you use this process to start to separate yourself from these other guys? Well, you just you look at the things that, um, you know, they do in um, the workouts, uh, the basketball workouts, you know. Um, the stuff they do, um, but you kind of got to get ready for because the things they do here is um, not, not so different what they do probably in workouts. Um, and, you know, you kind of take mental notes. Um, I was looking at, I was trying to figure out, you know, what they did. And they did a lot, a lot of running, a lot of things that will push you mentally. And um, you know, I feel as though I'm, I'm, I'm fit for that, but I'm going to work even more harder for that because I want to, like you said, I want to separate myself from the next guy who they believe is, who is as good as me or even better. So. Um, whatever, whatever advantage I can get, I'm going to take. Um, do you, I'm sorry. Do you, do you get your body ready at all for that bevy of workouts? I mean, physically. No, nah, nah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fit. You know, I've, I've been, you know, like preparing myself since the off season. You know, uh, you know, I've been doing this um, since the beginning, of, beginning of this, um, this, this college season. So I'm definitely ready. You know, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna work even more hard. You know, it's just how I am. How about mentally? Team after team after team is going to bring in, put yeah. you through the, the well, whole that's battery. Well, that's going to be di that's going to be you know quite different from what I'm used to because you know I'm not I'm, it's something new to me. But uh, you know I feel as though I'm, be, I'm be, I will be fine. You know, I'm being positive, and never negative thoughts. Um, I believe I can go from town to town from town and, and feel good. You know I take care of my body, um, and that's the, the biggest thing.
you talk about Kevin Ollie, what made him such a good coach for your team? And there's a lot of talk about him going to the NBA. Do you think he will yeah. and what? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. So I'm not going to really speak on that. Um, but um, he's a great coach because he believes in you. Know he uh, he understands that um, you know, there's definitely talent inside you. Sometimes someone else has to tap it out. Um, you know he continued to you know push us, continue to strive with us. You know he didn't want us to you know ever uh, you know ever lack anything. You know that's what that's what you want inside you. You know you want somebody who's going to push you, who's going to believe in you, who's going to believe you're the best player on the court. And uh, he did that to every single person that was on the team. It don't matter if it was me or a walk-on. How important was his own background in the NBA, playing for a lot of teams before he caught up, yeah. before he signed a one I mean, it's deal. super important, because that, it teaches, you know, it teaches you how to, you know, deal with things. Um, and um, he doesn't want no one else to be in that position. So he made sure every single day we gave everything we got. He made sure that we understood that we don't get this day back, so you got to push to the next level because at the end of the day you, you don't know what your future holds for you. You have to prepare for it. You have to get ready for it. And um, he made sure we did all that.